Xavier, guys, good morning. This is just tragic, and investigators are still trying to piece together just who shot those who shot those fires. Now, we're also told that two people died. Two others have been sent to the hospital. Investigators say this all started when a man shot into a crowd of people. We have video to show you what the scene looked like earlier this morning. Police say several off-duty deputies were working security, and that one of the deputies fired shots at a man striking and killing him. Now, they think that may have been the shooter, shooter but they just don't know for sure just yet, which is why it's hard to pinpoint how this all played out. Right now, we do know that no one has been taken into custody, so it's still a story we'll be following throughout the morning. I'll send it back to you guys. Deadly rampage this morning. That's according to the department. Three people were killed. This all went down around 1 o'clock this morning outside of a structure. Take a look at some video. This is video from the, when this unfolded just around 1 a.m. this morning. Now, police say the suspects waited for those inside to come out when he started to open fire. We're told multiple people were shot. Three people have died. Chief Finner, who was on scene here just hours ago, had this to say. And it's happened time and time again. And people ask the police chief and police leaders why and what. We don't even know why right now. Please pray. And all our spiritual leaders in and around our city and also outside our city, around our nation. Let's pray. Really strong words there from Chief Finner, just overall and what has unfolded here overnight and what we're continuing to see. Now, Finner says the investigation, of course, is still ongoing. In this new surveillance video, you can hear those rapid gunfire, the rapid gunfire rather, and you can also see party goers running for cover. Police say a man was shot in the head. Yeah, Rekha, the victim, a man in his early 20s, remains hospitalized this afternoon in critical condition after police say he was shot in the head. Investigators now believe this all started as a drive-by shooting. They say someone in a dark-colored SUV shot into a large crowd. They say someone from that crowd then fired back, leading to a shootout. One neighbor's ring camera capturing partygoers having a good time outside minutes before this dark-colored SUV is seen crossing Dallas Street and turning the corner. Seconds later, you hear the first series of gunshots and see people scrambling for safety, including a man holding what appears to be a gun. Then a second round of rapid gunfire can be heard, followed by more screaming as party goers try to get away. And I think we're just all kind of in shock at the moment. Anthony Smith and his wife live just a couple houses down. Uh, we heard two clips get unloaded or my assumption that were two clips uh, about 25 gunshots uh, and then about 30 seconds later or so there were about another half dozen we instantly found positions that we felt were safe inside and try to observe as much as we could uh, and i did call the cops after recovering several different types of ammunition at the scene investigators believe there were multiple shooters but despite bullets flying, they say fortunately no one else was hurt. Right now, police don't have a motive or a detailed suspect description, but they say surveillance footage they've reviewed shows that dark colored SUV taking off following the shooting. Now, early this morning, they did detain one person. We're now waiting to get an update on his role in all of this.